If you visit the small museum in Thursk, you will see the rather strange sight of an oak chair hung from the ceiling in one of the display areas. The chair was suspended at the request of its owner to prevent anyone from ever sitting on it, including maintenance and cleaners. The museum has never broken its promise in over 30 years, despite numerous requests and even the threat of legal action. Here's the chair's backstory. Thomas Busby was a man who enjoyed his drink. It was normal for him to be seen in his favourite pub sitting in his favourite chair. Busby was not a man to be messed with. A petty thief he was well known to have a temper, and was not afraid to enter into a confrontation with someone. It was this behaviour that would cost him dearly in the summer of 1702. Busby's father-in-law was a man named Daniel Alty. Alty bought a local farm which was renamed after himself. Danity Hall was in a rural spot close to the village of Kirby Whisk. According to local legend, Alty rolled Busby by using his chair without permission or acknowledgement. When Busby found Alty sitting where he wasn't supposed to, a blazing row between the men broke out. Alty threatened to return to Danity Hall, taking Mrs. Busby with him. Sometime later that night, Tom Busby gained access to the hall and ended the life of his father-in-law. It didn't take the local police long to link Thomas Busby to the crime. A quick trial found Tom Busby guilty as charged and the sentence was death by hanging. As a show of leniency, he was granted a final request. Busby chose to have a final drink. Naturally enough, Thomas Busby selected his chair to have that final drink. At some stage during that evening, Busby insisted that death shall come swiftly to anyone that dares to sit in my chair. This was minutes before he was led off to his execution. The chair remained in the pub for centuries, and patrons would often dare one another to sit in the cursed seat. During World War II, airmen from a nearby base frequented the pub, and locals noticed that the soldiers who sat in the chair would never return from war. In 1967, Two Royal Air Force pilots sat in their chair, only to crash their truck into a tree just after they left. In 1970, a mason tested his fate in the hot seat, only to die that same afternoon by falling into a hole at his job site. A year after that, a roofer who sat in the chair died after the roof he was working on collapsed. When the pub's cleaning lady tripped and fell onto the chair, she died shortly afterwards from a brain tumour. This list goes on and on, and finally the pub owner moved the chair into the basement. Unfortunately, even in storage, the chair claimed another victim. After a delivery man took a quick rest while unloading packages in the storeroom, he was killed in a car accident that same day. The landlord got in touch with the Thirst Museum and asked if they would take the chair off his hands. The museum staff agreed and careful arrangements were made to transport the chair under tight security. The chair is still on public display in the museum, and is now hanging six feet off the floor and is virtually impossible for anyone to sit in it. Museum staff are forbidden from touching it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.